got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Yeah. But for start show, remember everybody, you can always support the twins at officialhorsetwins.com. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt or hat today. Or maybe a white privilege card. Or maybe some bird products. Hey, Kim, come on. Use discount code Chinese virus. Me and my twin brother, we're going to give you 20% off your purchase. Use discount code Chinese virus. Yeah, speed it up, man. We got some new shows coming. We coming to Texas. We coming to Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Indiana. Those shows are up. We coming to Visalia and um, Bexville, but those shows are not ready. Uh, they're all not right, live. All right, speed it up. Um, go to hogstwintour.com. That's it. That's, that's enough. That's enough. Hogstwintour.com. That's enough. <laughs> all right. Um, San, fin- San Francisco Gay Choir, man. Of course they're going to be from San Francisco. That sounds a little... A gay choir? It's going to come from San Francisco. Why, it's the gay capital of America. I mean, why does the choir have to be number gay people? Don't y'all believe in diversity? <laughs> <laughs> sounds a little... What bad you, to me. Well, what would you call that? Huh? Is that considered, um... I guess uh, you can be black, white, blue, and oh, but still be gay. That's I guess that's the diversity. What? I mean, Glory. different races, yeah. Well, but y'all should be gay, though. Y'all should. Why do you have to be gay? That don't sound right. Why don't y'all just have some more straight singers? You know why? Straight singers don't want to sing with them. <laughs> yeah, because they're racist. Huh? <laughs> no. They're bigots. They, they don't like gay people. How are they racist? That's a joke, man. No, but they, 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 no, they bigots. What what's race got to do with it? <clears throat> Think. Prejudice. That's what I meant to say. Prejudice. Yeah. Straight people prejudice. They don't want to sing around a bunch of gay people. They want to sing around with their own kind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look here. San Francisco gay choir, man. Had to be in San Francisco. <laughs> Why can't be, why can't y'all be the Oakland Gay Choir? The Oakland Gay Choir? <laughs> In Oakland? <laughs> I'm sure some gay people in Oakland too, man. Yeah, they got the hell out of there and went to San Francisco. They much you more gay and you live in Oakland? They much more tolerant over there in San Francisco. Yeah, man, Oakland, man, that's a rough area. There's no well, I ain't gonna even go there. Yeah, man. I mean, those those gay men in San Francisco, man, they man. They what? Some damn predators, man. Man, you took it too far with that no, shit. No, man, they, 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 they look at you like, you, like they want to put you on a biscuit and eat you or something, man. It's well, disrespect. Just because we ran the chat. Cat calling and whistling. Well, just because. Yeah, straight men do it to um women, too, man. Well, no, Gay you... men, they do it, too, man. Y'all don't say nothing about that. Gay men cat calling people. Straight men, that's, 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 that's messed up. Well, when we was in San Francisco, it was just, there was only that. I mean, just because. They just to... automatically. Shut up, let me do some talking. The, now let me finish. The gay men. Let me finish. In San Francisco, they automatically think you're gay because you're in the city. <laughs> That's how gay San Francisco is. <laughs> automatically think you're gay. Well, if you just walk down the street, he, oh, he gay as hell. <laughs> it's San Francisco. Everybody's gay here. No, you well, can't be straight. Well, being San Francisco. Hey, can I do some talking? Just because we had that bad incident in San Francisco all oh, those years ago, you that's not how that's not a representation of I've gay been, people. I've been harassed by gay people my whole life. That just one one incident. You know gay men love us. Yeah, I remember that one dude at Ross Dress for Less. Yeah. He gave me the heebie jeebies. Black the, people don't get the heebie jeebies, but he gave me the heebie jeebies. Yeah, as soon as I saw him, I knew he had <laughs> <laughs> He had all these sores around his mouth. Like he just left a. Hey, I'm not uploading this. You crazy as hell. What do you mean? All right, no let's... man, I've had a lot of gay friends, man, and all of them turned out to be predators. <laughs> Kevin, you can't. No, they did. They harassed me, man. That doesn't make them. They a predator. harassed me. They... No, these people ain't a bundle law. These people are not bundle. If I don't care if you're straight, gay, but just because you're gay don't mean you can harass straight men. Like, all my friends in Target, they were gay. Right? All your friends? Yeah, I had, like, three gay friends. Every last one of them harassed me, man. Can't you, you, like, I can't be, like, I can't, like, be, re- like, cool with them, man. Like, this one uh, this one dude, man, he said, man, I know you straight, man, but let me just, 
Look, man, look, man, I don't want to offend you anything, but look, man, I know you're straight. All right. Get to it. I know you're straight, Kevin, but hey, man, just, 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 just put it in my mouth for a couple seconds. No, no man, I no, gay oh, friends, hold up. Every, okay, I'm done talking about your gay friends. No, man, man like I had, I had a majority of all my gay friends that always harassed me, man. They, they wasn't your talk. friends. Those was like acquaintances. You just worked. No, with, man, they was my man. friends, man. So you used to sit and I, talk on the phone with them? No, I used to talk to them, man. You know, we tell just about all the dudes are gay anyway. Well, look, you didn't talk to them on the phone when you was like, at I home? Like, I remember I was at Rock. Hold up. Are you listening to anything I'm saying? Can I tell a These story? These are not friends. I Do you know them? the difference between friends and acquaintances? Yeah, I wouldn't invite them on my house because I know what's going to happen. Money no, throwing them out my you house. listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying these was acquaintances. They wasn't friends. Just because you talked to them at work they don't make They were colleagues. Them. They were colleagues. That's right. They weren't my friends, but they was colleagues. They was colleagues, man. But you can see them from a mile away. All right, so are we going to even, like, show the video? Yeah, I got another gay story I want to share. I'm done talking about your gay no, man, you got to hear about this gay story. I'm done hearing about no, this gay story. No, man, this is a, uh, they got, we got, we got, we got. Which one you talking about? I'm a victim. I'm going to survive. <laughs> right? I'm going to share my story. Let's go to the video. Because I'm a survivor. No, I'm going to tell you my gay story. Because I'm a victim. I'm a survivor. And I'm strong. I stood up to that gay person. This is what happened. That was a store investigator. I was putting up cameras. I was doing some investigating, watching employees for theft, you know. And this store manager, I made sure I talked to the sister. I said, you're going to be here tonight when I put up the camera, right? It ain't going to be Mario, right? Because <laughs> he, man, he makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> the homosexual, right? The homosexual. <laughs> so Maria told me she's going to be there. I said, cool. That's when we lived in California. Can, can I tell my story? Yeah, well, California. tell it, man. You need to tell so people So I this. get to the store. It's 12 o'clock. Midnight, that, right? It's midnight. Yeah. Not 12 o'clock during the day. You no need to do it during people the day. People can put two and two together. No, you got to tell them, though. If you're going to tell midnight. the story, tell the story. It's midnight. It's a in the a.m. I get that right. Ring the doorbell. I said, man, it's a whole lot of cologne. Somebody was wearing a whole lot of cologne. <laughs> I said, damn, I hate, that's one thing I cannot stand. It's a person that puts on too much cologne. Shit burns the hairs out of my nose, right? So I'm smelling this cologne, man. I said, I got a bad feeling about this. I ring the doorbell. Guess who walks up to the door and let me in? The homosexual Mario. <laughs> Why you have to call him that? He's a homosexual. Oh, he said they know that. Just say Mario. Yeah, homo. He's it's, it's like you're kind of rubbing it in. No, yeah, he's Have some respect for people. No, he's a homosexual. Well, people adjective. don't call us the straight twins. He's, I'm using an average adjective. He's a homosexual. Just say Mario from here on out. Mario the homosexual? Mario comes to the door, smell like Man. three bat three three forty ounces of cologne. And he's flirting. And then he's that dude ain't flirting. Just cause he's smiling at you, looking at you? No, man, because when he was looking at me, it looked like he was staring right through me. You know how a gay man looks at you? All gay men don't look at yeah, and you know how people look at you when they're attracted to you. Like how you look at a woman when you're attracted to a woman, and how a woman looks at you when a woman's attracted to you. That's how he was looking at me, but it was a man. Hey. And that's when he said. It's a free country. Yeah, it's a free country. You either believe in the Constitution or you don't. All right, can we show the video now? Can I finish my story? I'm a victim. I'm a victim. That dude didn't do nothing. Yes, he did. Can I finish my story? What the hell did he do? He kept asking me, man, I know you're straight. But, man, let me just put it in my mouth. Man. I said, Mario, you know what? Did you file a sexual harassment case? I ain't no sissy. I ain't going to. All right. Can I finish my story? The story's over. I'm, I'm, I'm done listening to these guys. No, can I finish my story? I didn't file a report, but I talked to my district manager. She laughed at me. Talked to some other investigators. They laughed at me. Yeah, you know why? Because you're a sissy. <laughs> God, you're a man. You're supposed to take it. I'm a man. Dude just hit on me. Talking about he wants to suck me off. No, man. It's unprofessional. That's harassment. He should have been fired for that. He should have been canceled. Won't you call? Well, all right. Uh, we're going to talk. About, well, this video is meant to talk about this damn choir. This gay choir in San Francisco. All right, show the video. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked? Funny, just this once, you're correct. Yeah. 
will convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. We'll convert your children. We'll make them tolerant and fair. We'll convert your children. Someone's got to teach them not to hate. Look at all these homosexuals! <laughs> <laughs> As black homosexuals, <laughs> white homosexuals. <laughs> hey, how many, uh. Alright, cut this, cut it off! Cut it off! <laughs> that was the gayest thing I've ever saw. Hey, um, that first dude, did I use proper grammar on that? The greatest, the gayest thing I've ever seen. I said so. I mean, they're talking like a damn slave. Let me say something. Um, I don't know why. Like, when I saw this, yeah. Pee Wee Herman just kept popping into my head. You know what popped in my head? A damn Terminator, T-1000, liquid metal. I saw that dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kim, what's wrong with you? That's when he came off like he was a Terminator. So. Oh, okay. Liquid metal. Remember Terminator 2? Yeah. He was liquid metal. <laughs> No, uh, I got impression this dude was a gay Terminator. Yeah, let me uh, let me say something. Um, the like year 2029 to come and find John Connor and prevent him from forming the resistance. Hey, Kel, let me say this. Like, <laughs> I kept, I don't know why, I just kept thinking about Pee Wee Herman. And it's like, looking back on it, when I was a kid, yeah. nobody knew Pee. I didn't know he was gay. <laughs> How do you know he's gay? That dude is like a. This dude got caught. Hold up now, it's some Christians. <laughs> this dude, us right in the dope bookstore. He's gay. He's got to be. And it's like looking back on him as a kid. How did I never see that? <laughs> that dude was gay as hell. You know why? And every weekend, oh my God, look, Pee Wee Herman's on. Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just uh, hop around and shit like this. <laughs> Had that damn uh, gray suit and that damn bow tie. Yeah. Makeup all over his face, that crew cut haircut. Yeah. All that damn baby powder on his face. Yeah. No, it should have. But, but say I was a kid. Yeah, because you, your mind doesn't work like that. You was being a kid. Yeah. You just want to see uh, Pee Wee Herman play <laughs> with, his, with the neighbors and stuff. Yeah, Pee Wee's You wasn't playhouse. thinking that he was a homosexual. <laughs> yeah, it didn't matter because I was a kid. You know? Yeah, but you know what? The, the thing about this, this... Can I do some talk? The thing is this, man. The song, they're saying they want to convert your children, but they never say they want to turn them into, like... <laughs> I ain't going to even say it. <laughs> Flaming homosexuals. <laughs> they, they, they actually said mocking. they wanted to make... The more tolerant and understanding. Yeah, that I already do that with my kids. Yeah. So you yeah. gotta do that for me. That's what parents do. Yeah. I don't need you to tell my kids how to be tolerant of other people's lifestyle. That's daddy and mama's job. That's not your job. Yeah. That's all I want to say. But they take the most whenever But see, let me say let me talk. Like, um, they they are are mocking like I think people on the right. Yeah, because we feel like on the right there's an agenda going on, like uh, right, like uh, drag queens reading the little kids. Right. I mean, they teaching kids about yeah. gender fluidity. I mean, like kindergarten and just preschool. It's like yeah, you should. We feel like there's an agenda. So this song mm -hmm. is in response to that, and they're mocking us. Mm -hmm. And they're not saying they're gonna, gonna convert our kids to being homosexual. Gonna convert our kids to being um. Uh, what's the word? More tolerant. Honestly. More tolerant. I already teach my kids to be tolerant. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, did, did like they... I walked into, um, what was the, how long ago was this? A couple years ago. Me and my son walked in. No, I ain't going to tell that story. Why not? You a survivor? I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, I walked in. And my son was like, I, mean, I only think he was like probably like 9 or 10 at the time. It's been a while. And uh, my son's like, Daddy, Daddy, look, look, two guys are kissing. <laughs> look, look, look. I said, why you keep looking at them? Stop looking at them. You're homosexual too? <laughs> I said, but Daddy, no, there's two of them. There's two guys. I said, well, that's, that's what you call homosexual love. They love each other. And that's when you love somebody, 
Yeah. And you are attracted to the same sex. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Like, son, you are attracted to girls, right? <laughs> Say it. Say it three times. <laughs> now, when you like her, what are you going to do? You're going to kiss her, right? That's what you're going to do. I said, son. Hold on. I ain't done talking about son yet, boy. I was joking. I had a totally different conversation. <laughs> I was with my son. No, nah, that's what happened. I went to pretty much. my son at McDonald's. He said, Dad, look, look, it's a dad. Look, Dad, it's a dude over there wearing a dress. I said, how you know it's a dude? I said, oh! <laughs> it's very observant of you, son. That is a man wearing a dress. Yeah. And he kept staring at my son. And it made yeah, because your son kept staring at him. Yeah, you know, gay kept... people got rights, you know. You can't just sit and stare them like, like they damn in a damn zoo or something. <laughs> I say, hey, son. Don't you hate when people stare at us? Yeah, yeah, because we're twins, like we're circus animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... People look at us like we're twins. People look at us like they're the damn petting zoo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can I touch it? It's, it's two people look alike. <laughs> and my, my son showed me. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, that's what you call a transgender, son. <clears throat> well, did I... Uh... And he kept... My son, I said, look, son. All right, let's stop. I, I like, son, look, he did people too, man. It's nothing... It's not, It's He's a person too. I mean, is she. <laughs> Do not treat yeah. them any different than you want to be treated. Yeah. You treat them the same way. Yeah. Then you want to be treated. Yeah, but but son, keep an eye on them people. You give them an inch, they'll take a mile on your ass. Yeah, they're like vegans. Once you get to talking about food, they ain't gonna shut up. You drink milk? <laughs> you know what's in that? It's got pus, semen, and some blood in it. You know the harm they doing to those poor cows? Ain't no semen in the milk, man. I'm just hyperbole. I'm just acting like a vegan. Hey, the one thing I want to point out about You this. always do that in the videos. Do what? Can I get to my point? Uh, I'm Keep tired, man. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> Hey, look here. I'm exhausted. The one thing I want to point out in this video is, um, well, point it out. <laughs> <laughs> these th th these people that was in this video, like I know gay people. Most gay people is they take the most radical gay person and they stick them in front of a camera. Like most gay people do not. Most gay guys don't yeah. sound and talk like Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. <laughs> Most gay guys, like that that player for the Raiders, he just came out as gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, most gay p men are like that. Yeah, yeah. They're not like... Like the gay pride parades, those are just radical gays. Most gay people are not even like that. Yeah, you'll see a lot of gay people, a majority of them are not like like the, the person in the song, all robotic, like he's a Terminator. I you mean, know? they just look really... Like he's been in... Like, like really feminine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most gay I people... I mean, they're all feminine gay guys, but those are like... Bottoms. <laughs> There's a top and a bottom. <laughs> well, I mean, straight relationships, there's a top and a bottom. Yeah, my wife's the bottom, I'm the top. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at a gay cup, you got to throw in some creativity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I feel like this this whole song is like pretty much mocking. Yeah, I think it's more of mocking parody. I don't know what to really judge by it. I didn't take it very serious because you it's very difficult, if not impossible, to change somebody's sexual orientation from a song. It's just more like I mean, a, in general, in general. But people, kids can be manipulated at an early age. Yeah, if you get them. At a young age. Yeah, you can manipulate how like they, two, how they see the old, world. Yeah. Kindergarten, stuff like that. Yeah, how they see the world. Right, I'm like, right. as you get older, yeah. I mean, if you're straight, no gay dude's just going to talk you into sucking him off. It's I'm, just, I'm living proof of that. They've been trying for decades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but at an early age, they can. You can manipulate. Yeah. I mean, if you can teach a kid to be a white supremacist and to hate other people, yeah. you can teach them to be gay, too. Yeah. But yeah. you got to catch them at an early age. Yeah. Brainwash them. That's why on the right we feel there's an agenda. And I don't oppose gay people. It's just 
it's just the thing nowadays that you got gender and there's no such thing as gender. You have over a hundred genders. Now people don't even use the proper pronouns when you're referring to to them when yeah, they're not just, even a they're not even a part of the conversation. It's just getting really like out it's, there. It's like getting really it's bizarre. Yeah. It's like obnoxious at this point. It's like, what else do you want? What's next? Yeah. You know, it's just when is it going to stop? Our, for the majority of us, people in conservative liberals or whoever you are, we already teach our kids to kids to be tolerant, tolerant and loving of other people's lifestyles. Yeah. I think this song it really did more harm for the gay community than anything because it just comes off like really it, weird, creepy. Yeah, it comes off Pee Wee Herman creepy, masturbating in a dope bookstore. Yeah, that's how it came off. Yeah, it's just weird. I still like Pee Wee Herman though. Yeah, he's a shit. I'm matter of fact, I'm a member. He's on Netflix. He on Netflix. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, Pee Wee is the shit. And I'm gonna go look at. Remember that one he had that somebody stole his bike? Yeah, that damn red bicycle. Yeah, that big fat white 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 supremacist looking dude. (laughs) Remember that? I'm going to go home and look at that with the kids, man. Yeah. You let them sit back and look at that homosexual. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I love everybody. Yeah, Whether I do. you're gay, straight, yeah. I make jokes and I'm not here to offend anybody. I just don't like I'm them. just a comedian. Yeah. Now, if you're gay and you're offended, you really need to go check yourself. Yeah. Because I'm not meant, I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm just joking. Yeah. Y'all got y'all to learn how to take jokes. Yeah, man. You can take a dick in the ass. You can take a joke. <laughs> Let me put it in your mouth. Let me put it put hey, it in man. my mouth for a couple seconds. Man, you crazy as hell. <laughs> then after I put it in your mouth for a couple seconds, then what? <laughs> what you going to do next? Hey, just a couple more seconds. <laughs> couple more seconds, man. Just going to give me five minutes. Hey, Kevin, I'm done. I'm just saying, I'm, man. I'm, you give a gay person an inch there. Take a mile, man. Because I knew if I'd have put it in his mouth for two seconds, he'd have went ahead and won in about five minutes. <laughs> Man, this video crazy as hell. This is one of them old school horse twins right here. This is old school right here. This damn classic right here, man. I'm gonna bring it home on this one. It was a damn good show. Yeah.